Welcome to Igor Tech Channel. In this video, I will show you how to repair Windows 10 corrupted system files. It is quite common for Windows 10 users to face the consequences of corrupt system files. There are several reasons for these system files to get corrupted, and most of the time, it's almost impossible to repair the corrupted files manually. Don't worry because in the following slide, we'll show a number of solutions to fix this problem. Repair Windows 10 by fixing corrupted files using DISM. Deployment Image Servicing and Management is a tool that can fix corrupted system files quite instantly. You can use this tool through command prompt by following the steps. First, run the command prompt as administrator by searching for it in the start menu by the keyword CMD or command prompt. Type the DISM slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health command and hit enter. Now, you have to wait for the repair process to be at 100%. It may take 10 to 15 minutes to complete so be patient. Most probably, your issue will resolve when you restart your PC after running the DISM command. However, if the problem is still there, then move on to the next step. System File Checker is also a Windows tool which scans your PC for any corrupted files and fixes them by itself. You can access this tool by following these steps. Note, in Windows 10, it is essential that you run the DISM tool before jumping onto the SFC tool. To use the SFC tool, open the command prompt. Type SFC slash scano command and press enter. The system scan will now initiate and it will take a couple of minutes to complete. When the scan completes, you'll get one of the following messages. Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. This message means the SFC tool didn't find any corrupted files in your system. So your Windows 10 OS is in excellent condition. Windows Resource Protection could not perform the requested operation. If this is the message that is appearing, then you might have to run the SFC scan by booting Windows 10 in safe mode. Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files but was unable to fix some of them. Details are included in the cbs.log% windir% backslash logs backslash cbs backslash cbs.log. In this case, you have no choice but to replace the corrupted files with the new ones manually. Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. Details are included in the cbs.log% windir% backslash logs backslash cbs backslash cbs.log. This message states that whatever issue your Windows PC is facing has been resolved. So restart your PC, and hopefully it will work just fine. You can perform startup repair in Windows 10 if you think your PC is taking longer than usual to boot up. However, getting to this option does require some work on your behalf. Don't worry, follow these steps and you'll get it done within minutes. Press and hold the shift key on your keyboard and click the restart button in power options. Now on the boot screen, select the troubleshoot option. Next, click on advanced options. Select startup repair to initiate the repair process. It will take some time for the Windows 10 startup repair to fix your problem, so now you have no option but to wait. Also if it says that it wasn't able to fix your problem, then there's a possibility that there wasn't anything wrong with the Windows 10 OS on your PC. Using the Windows Restore feature, you can revert the condition of your PC to a previous point in time. However, to use this feature, it is vital that you've enabled System Restore on Windows 10 and created a restore point in the past. And if there isn't any restore point, then unfortunately, you can't use this feature. However if you're lucky enough to have any restore point, then you can very well use Windows System Restore to repair Windows 10 on PC. To restore your system, follow the steps. Go to System Settings, click on About, then click on Advanced System Settings on the right. On the System Properties window, select System Protection tab. Click on System Restore. Then click Next to continue. Now it will show you a list of all restore points recorded on the system. Select the one you want and click on Next. Here in the scan for affected programs, you can view the programs and drivers that will be deleted, and program and drivers that might be restored. After clicking the Next button, Follow the instruction to complete the system restoration. When done, it will automatically restart your system and begin restoring. 
For a complete tutorial on how to create a system restore point and restore your system from it, visit the link below. If none of the above methods work for you, then you can try resetting Windows 10 on your PC. By doing this, you take your PC back to its factory default state by reinstalling Windows 10. This means all the apps except for ones that came pre-installed with Windows 10 will be removed. However, you'll get to decide if you want to keep your personal data or erase all of it. And even if you choose to keep your data, I would still suggest that you back up every critical file as a precaution. It is one of the best ways to get rid of any malware and thus repair whatever is wrong with your PC. To reset your Windows PC. Press and hold the shift key on your keyboard and click the restart button in power options. On the boot screen, select the troubleshoot option. Now, press the reset this PC option to continue. This will guide you to reset the system. So those are all the possible methods you could opt to repair corrupted files on Windows 10. And if none of those methods did the work for you, then you have no choice but to completely reinstall Windows 10 on your PC. This covers how to repair Windows 10 corrupted system files. If you found this tutorial is helpful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.